what is going on all my haunted followers guys i'm gonna apologize for not uploading the past two weeks i just got a new job i'm working 5 a.m to 7 p.m roughly it's a very long schedule it's a it's a good job but it's really taking all my time so hopefully what i'm able to do is be able to upload still every friday videos might come every other friday but i will keep you guys posted as much as possible for these new videos so if you haven't done so please like and subscribe down at the bottom Guys, urban legends, the things that are made up of, well, there's some truth to them. You know, a lot of urban legends come from something. And it's not just that, you know, Bloody Mary or the, the black-eyed children. There's some truth to them. That's what makes urban legends so frightening. So, sit back and prepare to get scared. Everyone has a story to tell. Some have had weird experiences. I, however, have had one of those that simply is beyond what a normal person can comprehend. This was an encounter that took place when I was a pizza delivery driver back in 2015. I worked for Domino's Pizza. It was the best job in the world, but it was allowing me to go through classes during the day and study in the morning. Now, the job had its pros and cons. I can't count how many times people would try to jip you out of pay or tips and even play the whole, my pizza is cold. People really are terrible sometimes. Generally, my life consisted of sitting back at the pizza joint and awaiting an order. You'd be surprised on how many orders you get. Sometimes it can be a 20 in one night. I live in a very rural area and it could take sometimes 15 minutes just to get to the customer's house. Because of this, we would inform them that we would do our best to make it there on time, or the pizza gets cold. So as soon as the pizza was ready, I was out the door. The location ran up as even more rural area. We called the Shadow Halls location. It was a very spooky part of town. Too many silly ghost stories go around, however, I know a few who actually had some weird experiences. So I sat out on my drive. My GPS was telling me a little under 18 minutes. We were supposed to have a set mile limit, but again, our town is very big with very little living. My car was a 2011 Chevy Tahoe, so it was pretty new for the time. I have had never had any problems with it. I was about 10 minutes away and my GPS started to act up. I mean, it kept glitching out. I have never had this happen. I pulled over to check my GPS thinking that there was an issue with my phone. I was sitting in my car when I noticed something in my headlights, maybe 100 feet away or so. At first, I thought it was shadows from a bush, but I quickly noticed that it was kids. Yes, the kids. This is around 9 p.m. at night on a dark road. I'm thinking maybe it's just kids going home. As I'm sitting there trying to fix my phone, I kept looking up at them. They just stood there looking at me. I was like, okay. So I finally got my GPS to work again. I had my head down maybe a minute or two. And these kids are 100 feet away, mind you. I look up and... The two are now at my passenger window. Excuse me, mister, would you please let us in? We're lost. I really couldn't see the boy's face because a hood over his head. What are you guys doing out here? Um, where do you live? The little boy just responded, please, it's cold out here. If you could just let us in, I'll tell you how to get to my house. At this point, alarm bells are going off in my head. Something just wasn't right. I'm like, I, I need to go. C can I call someone? The little boy seemed to get irritated. Please, sir, please, let us in. Now, if this was something like a robbery, I would assume that they could just open the door, mind you, that because my windows were all the way opened. I, I can call someone for you i just need to go that's when the other little girl came around to my driver's side and just happened to see her eyes all black 
I'm like, I'm seeing things. Something was just off. I got this very bad feeling. Like, I was about to die. I was like, I need to go. I I I'll call the police for you. I waited so the... Um, I waited so neither of them were near my car and then I hit the gas. I was driving as fast as I could. I was now about a mile, I would say. And I see them again. The same children. On the side of the road just staring at me. I punched the gas and drove faster. I don't know what I saw. If it was a prank, it was a good one. I will never forget that night because... I think I saw the children with black eyes. Now I know there's some explanation to these encounters, as supposedly the mind plays tricks on you, but what I saw was no mind trick. This happened to me when I was 12, so almost 13 years ago. However, I remember it detail to detail, like it was yesterday. We had a slumber party. It was about me and five of the girls. Of course, we were just playing around and telling ghost stories. One of the girls suggested that we make a makeshift Ouija board. So we went online and printed one out. We used a makeshift cardboard pointer. At first, it was obvious it wasn't working. That was until one of the girls said, Come on, you stupid spirits. Do something. This wasn't the best choice of words. All of a sudden, the pointer started to move. At first, we thought it was nothing more than the wind, but we quickly realized it was moving on its own. The pointer started spelling out mirror. This freaked us all out, and we threw away the board as quickly as possible. We ended up just watching a movie when one of the girls got a bright idea to do Bloody Mary. No one was up for it, but the girls kept on pushing it. So I stood up and said, fine, I'll do it. I had my brightest moments. So I step into the bathroom with a candle and the girls turn the lights off. I place a candle on the countertop and look into the mirror. I was already freaked out by the fact that the candles were dancing off the walls, creating like little creatures. I took a deep breath and spun around three times saying, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. I stopped opened my eyes and nothing. I just laughed. I really thought, let's play a trick. So I screamed, oh my god, help! I could hear the other girls on the other side of the door laughing. I had to stop and had to hold my hand to my mouth so they wouldn't hear me laughing. So when I went to grab the door to run out, but all of a sudden, the temperature inside the bathroom dropped dropped drastically. I felt someone just come up right behind me. I turned around and I I see this woman. She was just sitting there in the bathroom, more like floating. She had this white dress with blood all over it. She just looked at me in this most demonic look and said, no, no, with her fingers. I freaked out and almost broke down the door and ran out. The girls all started to scream. They didn't know what was going on. I couldn't talk. I couldn't even move. I was shaking so badly. Then I blurted out, There's a woman in there! One of the girls at first thought I was just joking until they noticed I had peed myself. You may laugh at this, but that is how frightened I was. I ended up going home after that. To this day, I will not go into a bathroom with the lights on. I don't know what I saw, but whatever it is, I do not want to see it again. I am sure everyone has heard of the story about Slenderman, and some say that it's a made-up character, but I have experienced something that defies that explanation of it being fake. When I was 16, I got into the really whole Slenderman myth. I truly believe that it existed. One summer night, I was sitting in my room playing Halo, and the legend has that if you call upon him and to offer yourself, he will do you favors. Again, I was really into this stuff. Anyways, I was sitting there playing Halo, 
In front of me is a long mirror. Behind that is my window. I'm on the second floor, which is probably eight to nine feet from the bottom of the window to the ground to give you some perspective. I was obviously paying attention to the screen when I see this white looking face. It, it was there for a moment, but it caught me off guard. I could see it in the window. I looked quickly at the window, but it was gone. Thinking my eyes were playing tricks on me, I go back to playing. Again, I notice something. This time, I look quicker, and I see this white face level with the top of the window. I freak out and turn around, and it's gone. Mind you, I'm home alone. I grab my baseball bat from the closet and slowly crawl to my window. Nothing. I don't see anything. I'm like, okay, I must be overtired or something. So I go back to my game and start playing again. Then I hear it. I hear my name being called. It, it was faint, but I swear it was coming from the window. I look and I don't see anything. I am absolutely freaking out at this point. I run downstairs and made sure my doors were all locked. I know my parents were inspected home for another hour or two, so I just sit on the couch. Then, out in the living room, we have these high ceilings, and we have these high windows at the very top. This thing, or the windows, must be over 10 to 12 feet high. I see it. Him. It's white face peering in at me. I freak out and start running for the bathroom. Luckily, there's no windows in this bathroom, so I lock it, and I push this really heavy basket in front of the door. For several minutes, I don't hear anything. So I get out and look around. Nothing. I'm like, I really need to calm down. It's my imagination. But then I hear something. Something walking on the roof. Step by step, I hear it walking back and forth. I am almost impeding myself at this point. I don't know what to do. My only option is to run back upstairs and grab my dad's shotgun. So I run upstairs and open my dad's safe, grabbing his Mossberg 500. I run back downstairs and wait. I can still hear this thing walking on the roof. Then I hear something at the door. I hold the shotgun up, expecting it to be him. Then I hear, in sweet relief, my mom and dad's voice. So I run back upstairs as fast as I can and put the shotgun away. My mom calls out, Andy, we're home. I told my parents, but they obviously never believed me. I ended up sleeping on the couch for several weeks after that incident, although I have never experienced that again. I still don't understand what that, or who, that was. Thanks for sharing. Have you ever heard of a legend of the Goat Man? If you haven't, I suggest you look it up. It's far more frightening than you could ever imagine, especially if you experience it for yourself. Several years ago, my friends and I wanted to prove the legend was nothing more than fake, that the Goat Man was nothing more than a myth. There's so many different stories, from crazed scientists to many silly other stories of how he came about. We set out one night to search the local woods of Georgia County. Many swear to have seen him in that location. The drive was no more than 45 minutes. We got to the local woods. I woke up the exact location. I don't want people running around in people's backyard there. We parked on a dirt road and had to follow a bridge. The deeper into the woods we got, the more the feeling of someone was watching us was now, supposedly, there's an old shack that people swear he lives. With simple GPS from Google, we were able to find a semi-location that turned out to be nothing more than a rock foundation, but the story started to have some truth. We looked around and didn't find much, some old beer bottles and some trash. Just then, we heard something in the distance. I couldn't make out the location, but it was a good distance from us. It sounded like a donkey or something. I'm like, what the hell was that? So we picked up our pace a little. At this point, the feeling had gotten so bad that 
I felt like someone was right behind me. When we were walking, I turned around and made out a shape in the distance. It was definitely a human shape. I told my friend Bobby, hey, look. Bobby turned around. Maybe it's someone on the night walk or something. Mind you, this is 12 a.m. I wanted to believe him, but I couldn't. We got to the following path to get closer to the supposed cave where the creature hung out. Again, we found it. Something giving some truth to the story. That's when we heard something coming from the back of us. A growl. We turned around and saw it. This creature. At first, I thought it was a goat standing on its hind legs, but it quickly noticed that it was a man. But with a goat head or something. I could make up a very muscular physique. This thing started to run towards us. We all freaked out and started to run, but this thing was right on us. It jumped on my friend's back and started to hit him. I grabbed a log that I found on the ground and swung it as hard as I could. This thing rolled off my friend and we got up and started to run again. Luckily, it didn't chase us back for whatever reason. We had to circle around to find the car. We were all shocked. When we got to the car, there were scratch marks and it looked like had someone had beaten on it, but we didn't care. We got in the car and got out of there as fast as possible. What I saw that night, well, I hope I never see again. For the story, for the supposed story, I'm telling you, it's real. They say the ocean holds many secrets. I'm here to tell you that that stories are very true. This is my story about my cruise run-in with, well, a ghost ship. If you haven't heard about the Flying Dutchman, I suggest you do because it's really spooky. One morning, my crew and I were about 200 miles off the coast of Cape Cod. I work on a fishing vessel. We typically spent 8 to 10 hours at sea, bringing in a good amount of payload, so to speak. Now, that day was absolutely beautiful out, not a cloud in the sky. Now, I can tell you that the sea has its own mind and can switch on you very quickly, as most storms start out at sea. But I was manning the wheel. I noticed a giant formation of clouds in the distance. Oddly enough, it started to form rather quickly, as I could clearly see fog. Now, even though it's at sea, there's no way a storm can start that quickly. I was shocked and yelled out to my crew that we had to turn heel and make before it hit us. But to my surprise, this storm moved so quickly, it was on top of us in a matter of seconds. The fog drowned out anything around us, to the point I had to stop the vessel and our radar started to act up. One of the men nearly yelled or screaming, Port side! Port side! I ran to the deck to look out. I was shocked. There was a ship. What looked like an old sail ship, yet beyond weathered, the sails looked torn. We couldn't make out much, but the freaky part was there was this green mist around it. Yes, you heard me right, a green mist around it. Then, I noticed what looked like men, all moving about the ship, but it was as if they were glitching out or something. It was there, then the storm was gone. In the matter of seconds, I don't understand what I saw, or rather, what we all saw, but whatever it was, it was not of this realm. Well, all my haunted followers, I hope that you enjoyed those stories. They were short, but they're very interesting. Uh, you know, like I said, urban legends come from type some type of truth, if you will. Um, that's why they're a legend, but they're a legend. There is something that happened to someone. And the story derives from some type of truth to it, which makes, for me, Urban Legends very interesting. Um, my favorites were definitely the uh, Ghost Ship, or rather the Supposed of Flying Dutchman. Um, there's been so many tales of, um, you know, crews at sea seeing these things. And the ocean, yes, it definitely holds secrets that we will never understand. Um, you look at places like the Bermuda Triangle, for instance. Uh, Goatman is a huge legend. There's been so many encounters with Goatman. I truly believe that whoever experienced this, um, you know, there's some there's some truth to it. You what you saw is what you saw. I don't think somebody's gonna throw a mask on and uh, start running around attacking people. Um, you know, Bloody Mary is another one that blows my mind because it's supposedly you, supposedly you know, it comes from the legend of I believe the Queen Mary, who 
supposedly haunts mirrors and mirrors are supposedly another realm uh, another way for spirits to come in uh, to come into our realm guys i hope that you enjoy them again um if you haven't done so again please like and subscribe again i guys i apologize for the late upload for these videos uh, all these stories rather um hopefully next friday will be another one as long as i get some downtime you know these crazy hours i'm working but always as well as always happy hauntings